To begin using the Aware tool, select the map icon to go into a site view. Now that we are inside of our site view, there is a few important features that I would like to point out. First is the layers flyout. Inside the layers flyout is where you will find all of your site view layers as well as the pivot layers. Next, I would like to point out the tools flyout. This is where your aware tool is located and it is this symbol right here. Lastly, I would like to point out the search panel. In the search panel, you can enter any search criteria such as a town, an address, or XY coordinates to zoom to a location on your map. For this, I'm going to use XY coordinates. Now that I've entered my XY coordinates, I can go ahead and zoom to that location on the map. Now that I'm at the area that I am interested in using my Aware tool on, I will now go back to the Tools flyout and access the Aware tool. To begin an Aware project, the first thing you'll need to decide on is what type of geometry your project is going to be, whether that be a point, a line, or a polygon. For this demonstration, I'm going to do a polygon project. Now that I've selected my geometry, I'm going to go ahead and give my Aware project a name. And I'm just going to call it Aware Demo. Next, I'm going to name my first location. And for this, it's just going to be location one. And once I've configured that name, I can now start drawing my polygon. Select the geometry symbology and start to click on the map where you would like your polygon to be drawn. Once you are at the end of your shape, you can go ahead and double click and it will finish drawing for you. Next, I can determine how many foot buffer I would like around my polygon. For this demonstration, I'm going to do a half mile. And now I will select save. Don't forget that each time you add a location to a project or before you submit your one location project, you must select save. I'm now going to go to a second location and draw a second polygon. Just like I did for the first location, I'm going to give this one a name and I will call it location two. Now I'm going to click on the geometry symbol and start drawing my second location. And again, I'm going to do another half mile buffer. Now that I've chosen my first and my second location for my wear project, I'm now going to determine what data sets I would like to report on. To access this, go ahead and click on the cog. Once you've clicked on the cog, you can now see all the available reporting layers that we have and all of the selected reporting layers that I currently am reporting on. For this, I'm going to go ahead and move over all of my pivot layers because I want to report on every single one. And now I'm going to save. Now that I'm satisfied with all of the details of my Aware project, I'm now going to submit it into the Pivot database. Now that the project has been submitted, it can take anywhere from 8 to 10 minutes to pull back all of our information so we can take a deeper dive into these two locations. Once you select the project tab, you can see your project is still orange, which means it's running. Once it turns green, we will know that the project is complete. For the sake of time, I'm gonna go ahead and open a report that I have already configured. Now that I'm in the reporting console, I can go ahead and draw your attention over here to the locations portion of the reporting console. 
and you can notice that only one location is currently toggled on. I'm going to go ahead and select the second location. And I can begin comparing my two locations side by side in the crossing summary report. If I want to take a deeper look at one of these categories, such as property parcel, I can come over here to the detail report section, click on the data set that I'm interested in, and begin to see the individual records. The last thing that I will point out is you can also select any of these records, give a right click, and it will map that record on the map below. To share these reports, select the report symbol and it will start to download this report into an Excel file that you may share. That is the conclusion of our AWARE demonstration.